Oh, so um, a little bit of drama at the airport today because it's a very small flight from Atlanta to Chattanooga and these bikes are not small. There's a lot of traffic coming in um, and I couldn't fit all the bikes on. So my bike got on the second flight, which I was quite lucky. Lots of people still haven't got there. So I must be happy that even though it's equivalent of one in the morning in the UK right now, um, I've got all our luggage and we're off to the hotel for some much needed sleep, ready to get a little bit of training in and see if my bike is in one piece hopefully tomorrow morning. Right, we're down at the race start for the swim. This is my one chance to get in the water and have a warm up. I'm testing out the course, but also I've got a session to do 30 minutes, 10 minute warm up, 20 minutes at race pace, but there's not much, lot, not much time left. So I'm gonna have to go and jump in. That was nice. It was way warmer in there than I expected. So apparently it's still undecided whether it's going to be a wetsuit swim or not, but um, a great warm up and getting race nerves and checking out the course. One thing I noticed though, the current is going that way. So when you're swimming that way, you feel like you're flying, which is pretty cool. Right, you might be wondering exactly what's going on. I'm here in Chattanooga, Tennessee for the 70.3 World Champs and the last few days have been a little bit crazy and I find when I'm a little bit like all over the place, the best way for me to deal with this and to like get all my thoughts out so I can kind of relax and focus on the race is actually writing a list and when I feel prepared I know I race so much better. So I'm going to share my list for the rest of the day with you. So obviously I've already swam, had my lunch, um, hoping to at some point today get some course recce and obviously there's a run and a bike course to recce but before I do that I need to build my bike so it's still in its box hopefully I had a quick peek it looks like it's in one piece but now I need to actually put it together and check it's working so to do that I'm gonna go out for a bit of a ride later on and then if we have time get in the car as well and do the rest of the course because I don't need to ride 56 miles today um, the run I've chatted to a few other athletes getting some tips on what the course is looking like but talking of tips, I'm quite excited because later we're going to be interviewing Holly Lawrence, who's the reigning world champ at 70.3. So I've got a chance to get some more ideas from her and anything that I might have forgotten. Um, also on my list, oh, this is important, which I only just remembered, quite a major one, the race briefing tonight. So that's at 8 o'clock tonight, the only version for the English um, race briefing for the women. Um, because I race in two days time so it's a chance to check everything, ask any questions, anything I might be worried about and just to try and put it all like in one place and help me feel really prepared. Ah, so that's lunch done, now we're heading to try and find Holly Lawrence because I'm having a chat with her to get some tips and great bits for you guys at GTN, but also, a little bit selfishly, hoping to get some race pointers from the reigning world champ herself. So Holly, um, as you know, I'm racing as well um, in two days time and racing in Kona. What advice can you give me? What tips for, for race day and for prep generally? Yeah, I mean, my big thing is um, just trial and testing everything that you do, not doing anything new on race day and just having a plan. Like, so everything's done well in advance, like the day before that you get all your swim stuff together, bike stuff, everything, all your nutrition and everything. Um, and then write a plan for what your timeline in the morning, you know, okay. even wake up, what you're gonna have, everything, uh, what time you get to transition, when you warm up. So everything's just a process and you know exactly what's gonna happen. Result. That is, well, we're getting somewhere. Once I'm out on my bike and like pedaling and I know I've got everything here because it's like the moment of truth of whether I've remembered everything and whether everything's working, then that's a massive relief. I must admit when I've done this, I will definitely be able to relax a lot more because I know like swimming, running, you can borrow a pair of goggles and you know, you can swim, no problem. Trainers, I packed in my hand luggage, I can run in anything else. Bike, 
not quite so simple. So, and also this is the part that's newer to me, whereas I've been running and swimming all my life. So yeah, um, it will be good if this all works. Right, let's hope I've got everything. It's time to head to the race. Water, okay. And yeah, I've been feeling more relaxed, weirdly, the closer I get to the race. I think um, it's been a very busy week and um, I've had a lot on my mind. So I tried to be quite methodical about it all and hence I like a list. And I've also listened to the pros, so Holly suggested writing a list, ticking it all off. I haven't quite had, got it in an order because it's got to be flexible today, I think. But it's got a 10, 15 minute drive, so I'm going to go through everything now on my head and just get my nutrition ready to put on my bike. Um, and the main thing now is to check my bike because that shuts at 7.30. I think people have been up ridiculously early. From what I gather, I know a lot of people, well, Obviously they have race nerves, but I think some people just like to get up so early. Check-in didn't open until 5.30 and they kept um, reiterating that. But it is now 10 to 7, so we do need to keep moving. <laughs> okay, um, I think I've got everything organised, so I've just put my fluids in both my bottles. Um, I've got all my nutrition stuffed in here. So I'm going with shop blocks today, um, a bit of a bar if I can eat something, and I've got two gels. I won't use that much, but I've got two packets just in case. So I need to try and keep eating with that. Um, my computer's on and turned on, so hopefully when I start, I just have to press this button and it'll start recording. I'm in the gear I want to be in, because um, it's kind of quite flat as we head out, so I'm in my big ring and down on the bottom um, so hopefully that will be great for cadence check my tire pressures I'm happy with them so yeah I think I'm good to go now I just have to memorize so when I run in I come in down here I need to look for 12 91 13 40 and I'm literally so it's quite handy I'm, I'm quite close I'm just here so I'm only four bikes in so that should make it a bit easier um, yeah I can't think of anything else if I do it's too late because it's three minutes and they're chucking us out of here. Okay, there. Starting like five minutes. Right, um, it's about two minutes to go till I start. Um, I've got to go down there, collect my colour wave hat for my wave, and um, yeah, see you in what, five or so hours. Um, hopefully, I'll still be smiling. See you later. I'm so glad that's over. Um, I know you're supposed to enjoy these things and I did enjoy bits. There was loads of great camaraderie and um, everyone was supporting each other. It was really nice, but it's such a relief to sit down. So the whole idea of this was, it was a bonus race and practicing for Kona. And right now, I can't imagine doing that distance twice in twice the heat. I just like, it just proves it's a mental battle because my body obviously can. It's done it once before in South Africa back in April and in theory I'm fitter now. Um, and I'm you know I'm training more specifically and things so but just the thought of running another two laps of that run course. Oh it was tough. It was harder than I expected today. Um, maybe I've got complacent from I don't know from what but yeah I didn't expect it to be quite as hard and just I had to work the whole way. Um, and the bike as well. I think maybe this week it has been really busy, like I said, and this is a training, it was a training race. Yes, it's World Champs, so I gave it, like, I tried hard. I, I raced and I enjoyed that part of it. And 
I put everything into practice. I ate more nutrition than I've ever done before, which is what I'm supposed to do. I drank more than I've ever done. Um, I think my transitions were quicker, which was good. And um, yeah, I hydrated throughout the run. Didn't get a stitch, which is great, because the last few races I've done, I've had a really bad stitch. I got a mild one at about 11 miles, and that went again. Um, my feet felt comfortable. I was trying out new shoes, trying a new suit. First time riding with power. Um, first time running properly with heart rate and running to pace. So loads of firsts. Um, and it's going to be really interesting, actually, to look at the numbers and go through it with my coach and see how this compares to what I need to do in Kona um, and just evaluate where I'm at because it's five weeks to go. Yeah, five weeks today. Sugar. So I've just picked up my race results and that moment of suspense, I was just outside breaking the five hour barrier again, which is frustrating, 5.03.44, but I don't really know what I was expecting. Um, swim 29.33, couple of minutes slower than I thought, so a bit disappointed with that, but positive, my bike was two hours 50 on a hilly course, and that's actually a PB, so riding with power is obviously helping. Run, it was a tough run course, so one hour 37 for a half marathon is okay i'd hope for a bit quicker but um overall i finished 11th in my age group just outside the top 10 so it's quite a few like just 77th out of all the women um so yeah some things to go and reflect on but yeah so so I've had an awesome time here in Chattanooga, but now heading home, it's gonna be back to the grind. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up, and remember you can subscribe by just clicking on the globe. And if you want to see last week's show, which we did out from Chattanooga, just click over here. And if you want to know how to recover learning from my race, then click down here.